a systemic failure has occurred, and I consider that totally unacceptable. The reviews I've ordered will surely tell us more, but what already is apparent is that there was a mix of human and systemic failures that contributed to this potential catastrophic breach of security. Ava Hernandez got a disturbing voicemail from the assistant principal of Shorewood High School this past March. Her 15-year-old brother, Adam, had been taken into police custody. It was because his friend had shared a lunch with him, and he was accused of stealing. It was really just, I don't know, it was, off, it was over the top. Adam was accused of stealing chicken nuggets from a $2.60 meal. Nuggets his friend, Jakari Garner, gave him. All throughout that month, I was like fasting, so I couldn't eat meat. And we had chicken nuggets that day. After getting the nuggets, Adam got in the lunch line to get some sauce for them. According to Garner and the police report, the cafeteria cashier told the assistant principal Adam stole those nuggets. He told the police officer in the school who called a squad car. They actually put him in handcuffs and tried to like force him into the car. They were like, well, do you know that friend receives federally free lunch? And I said, uh, I do now. And they said, well, it's illegal to share a free lunch. So either way, Adam was breaking the law. Adam was issued a municipal citation for theft and a $170 fine, which he chose to fight in court to keep his record clean. Urban Underground, a youth group, is trumpeting Adam's cause, fighting against young people needlessly being put in the judicial system. No, this, this type of situation follows a young person for the rest of their lives, getting a job, getting into school, um, getting financial aid. And they could have used uh, policies that they already have in place um, in, in, school, in school disciplinary procedures to, to, to resolve this if they, if they felt he was guilty. Adam Hernandez was scheduled for trial tomorrow, but about noon today, the Shorewood police chief and high school principal released a joint statement. It says that the theft charges against Hernandez have been withdrawn and there will be no court proceeding. Did they say why? Was it public pressure? And back to the original huck, uh, crux of this whole thing, can you share a free lunch? Well, they didn't say why, okay. and they didn't talk to me today. <laughs> the other thing, uh, why or can you share a lunch, mm -hmm. I called the Shorewood High School, and they said they'd get back to me. There was simply throughout the law enforcement community never information that would put this individual on a no-fly list or a, a selectee list. So that's, that's number one. Number two, I think the important thing to recognize here is that once this incident occurred, everything happened that should have.